Welcome to Trending Faith here on GCU TV. My name is Ashley Romantic and let's get started with today's question. I often hear pastors, missionaries, and or nonprofit groups reference a vocation as my ministry. Is there a danger in claiming kingdom work as our own? What do you think, Tim? Well, I appreciate the person who asked the question or sensitivity mm -hmm. that uh, they're having towards God's work, mm -hmm. you know, and kingdom work is really his and we get to be a participant in it. Um, I don't know that it is necessarily fair maybe to judge somebody for saying my ministry or you know my church. I think there's a level of ownership that people in ministry have about what they do and a high sense of value and passion about it and so sometimes that kind of uh, commitment to their ministry is uh, you know it comes across in a way to others that you know, may not necessarily represent it accurately when it comes to what the scripture might say about what we do. Um, not that that's okay, but uh, I think we, we've kind of got to give people a little bit of grace when they're referencing what they do for God and how they do it and how they view their role in it. And I think when somebody says, you know, that, that their ministry is serving the poor, their ministry is teaching, that uh, that's not such a bad thing. Um, and I think most would probably agree this is really God's work and I get a chance to participate in it at this level and this way. So, um, you know, I think it's worth talking about, you know, for those of us that see ourselves in a vocational ministry setting. How do we describe it to others? How do we represent our role in it? Um, are we, you know, are we in front of God in the whole conversation about it? Or are we being fair to defer to him what's rightfully his and our stewardship in it? So um, I think it's a fair question. It may be straining a little bit to, <laughs> to you know, try to be critical of somebody that might reference it as their ministry. But I can see why be, some would be sensitive to that. It makes mm -hmm. sense. Yeah, I, we have to be really careful judging people's words harshly because in you know just regular speech we tend to say things. Uh, I think probably you know in most cases we just have to we have to judge our own hearts a little bit and be careful and we can we can move in the wrong direction at any point so to be sensitive am i am i overstepping and and saying a little too much or thinking a little too too highly of myself and my ministry and claiming things that really aren't mine um, I think the biggest danger for me in my experience has really not been so much saying this ministry is mine and taking ownership, but actually feeling like the success or the results were things I brought about. So, you know, there's a sense in which God has certainly called me to ministry. GCU, I consider a ministry. It's what God has me doing in this moment. And so, um, you know, there's a sense in which I really do need to take ownership to use your word. And I think that's an important phrase, way to way to think about it. But my goodness, anything good that comes out of my humble efforts at GCU is really, it's, it's God's provision. It's uh, to God be the glory for those things. And that's where I have to guard my heart the most typically. It's on that end. I wonder if the, the person asking the question is a little concerned about what you just identified. That sometimes when we have certain successes in our own ministry life or whatever, then it, it, it appears to be our kingdom and not yeah. God's kingdom. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I, maybe we need to be careful with that, how it, how it comes across. Yeah. And when we do experience success, regardless of what we're doing, uh, can be a ministry in the workplace, can be a ministry, you know, in church or, you know, ministry, professional ministry settings. Um, but if things are going well and we have a <laughs> level of pride about it and all of a sudden we start owning it in a different way, like, you know, this is really a result of me versus a result of what God's done. That's a great point. Okay, well, I hope that answers your question. And as always, if you have a question or a comment, please feel free to send it to us at trendingfaith at gcu.edu or use the hashtag trendingfaith.